The Medicine Hat Fiber Arts Society is a community brought together by a common love of weaving, spinning, knitting and crocheting. Members have the use of this large, well-equipped studio. New members are welcome, with or without experience, and instruction is available. The Society is a member of a province-wide guild, the Hand Weavers, Spinners and Dyers of Alberta, which offers workshops and an annual conference. I think feel is the best thing about fibre. Knitting should feel cosy and weaving should feel smooth. You can put a silk scarf on and you can feel five inches taller and five pounds lighter because it's silk. And it's still one of the nicest things to weave with. Not necessarily practical, but a very lovely fiber to use. Weaving is a skill. Do A, B, and C, and D, E, and F will result. With spinning, it's completely a touch. Weaving is the exact opposite. It is very technical for an art. A and uh, what you have to learn to adjust to is your beat, getting that right so there isn't big spaces in between each row. But that comes with time and practice. But weaving, you don't need an imagination. You thread by a pattern and you follow a pattern. Someone's walking down the street, you can spot something that's creative. And, and people approach who are the wearer and, and make nice comments and so forth. But I like making clothes that I have made out of felt because if you're going to go through all that work, let the whole world see it. It doesn't need to hang in your kitchen. And that is my total philosophy toward it. Here I am sitting in the Medicine Hat Fiber Arts Society studio, and I'm sitting at a loom. And you might ask, what is a loom? Well, it's simply a piece of equipment used to weave cloth. And you can take any kind of a yarn or a string and tie it into a loom and you can make a piece of cloth, which you can make a, a clothing out of, or you could make a scarf or a shawl or even something as big as a tablecloth or a blanket on a big loom as this. Now I'm gonna just kind of demonstrate how it is that we weave. What we weave through is called the weft. And I have some uh, weft string here on, on this shuttle. And if you look down at my feet, you will see there's some petals down here. And this is the other thing that will create a pattern for me, is that as I push this pedal down, what it does is it opens up a tunnel here in this warp, and this is called a shed. And then I'll take my shuttle and send it through this tunnel or this shed, and catch it through on the other side. and then hammer it down in, and that's gonna create the weft. Now, the combination of the petals going down and how they're threaded in these petals will produce the pattern. So I'm doing one, two, three, four, that's my petals. And I'm just gonna do number three. And each, each petal will lift up different petals. And that, that's what will, will give me the pattern. So there you have it. That's how a loom works. And it's, it's absolutely wonderful to see all the different types of things that you can make because there's so many beautiful yarns that you can get in wonderful colors. And it's something that I love to do. And it's very relaxing. And the product that you get is just wonderful. I love to knit because you can take a ball of yarn, a piece of string and two needles and create something. It doesn't, um, sometimes you use a pattern, sometimes you just create on whatever you feel like doing on your own. And it's amazing to me that somewhere back in time somebody thought, oh I'll just take this piece of string and two sticks and see what I can make. And years later we're still doing the same thing. You can do flat knitting, you can do dimensional knitting. It depends on how willing you are to learn. 
In knitting, there's basically two stitches, a knit stitch and a purl stitch. But how you put them together is how you create patterns. And, and so then you learn how to increase and decrease, and that makes so that you can shape things. And then if you want to be uh, more creative, then you use more than two needles, and then you can make dimensional items. And so you could pretty much knit whatever you want. It was something you just grew up doing. When we were in the shelters during the Second World War, when the bombs were doing, you know, you'd knit very fast or very slow if you were scared. But then I never realized that there were people who didn't know how to knit. My generation, we were all taught when I came to Canada, I was shocked that people didn't. I mean, uh, we also spun our own wool. It was something you just grew up doing. Now it's just supposedly an art, but it was a necessity in my day. The Fibre Arts Society was demonstrating weaving with a table loom and also spinning yarn. And I went over to the club and then it was an opportunity to go and really watch how it was done and ask some questions and find out that it, uh, it was available for me to come and join to be a member and learn how to weave. When you first join the Fiber Arts Society, yes, you are assigned a mentor who helps you step by step to learn how to weave. And I feel it's very important because, as for myself, when I first joined, I had no idea how the process began. And without that mentor, I would not be here weaving today. I love the weaving because it's a different way to put an item together compared to other ways like knitting, crocheting, sewing, woodwork, metal. It's intricate. It's rewarding when you're finished the project. There's lots of things that I have learned from the weaving. Um, I, th probably the first thing I learned was to be very patient. <laughs> it's very time consuming. And one of the other very important things that I've learned is the quality of what you make is fantastic. I am doing tea towels right now and I love the tea towels. They're awesome. <laughs> they say back to the 1500 BC that people have crocheted. It's, um, I guess then they would have used it to make the, uh, material to wear um, and carving uh, hooks out of bones. Once you get into it, it's really interesting actually because you're always learning a new stitch, a new, a new way of doing things. Um, so you keep learning with this too. It, just about every, everything you make that you can, you learn how to do something different. And the fact that I have great grandchildren now, I tend to do the little things and it's great having little things to do when you're traveling in a vehicle. You can just tuck it in your bag and away you go. I find it very relaxing. I think everybody should spend a few weeks or even a few days learning how to weave. It's so easy to go to a store, buy something. And do you look at it and see how it's made? That's what I like about weaving. If somebody comes and it's something I've got and they look at it a second time, that's when I think I've got it made. You'd be surprised how people put things on and they have no idea how even a pair of socks are made now.